Hey, and welcome back to our YouTube channel where we talk about all things Facebook ads. And today I want to show you guys how you can add someone to your Facebook business if you decide to work with them. So let's say, for example, you're a brand and you're working with someone from an agency. I'm going to show you how to add them into your business manager or into your Facebook business so that they can access all of your different assets. Um, or if you are a brand and you're hiring someone internally, I'm going to show you also how to do that as well. Now, just remember that if you are adding another business that's going to be working with your business, you're going to add them as a partner, just like a business partner relationship. Try to remember that business to business. If you are hiring a specific person or employee to work with your company, I would then add them as a person to your business manager. The way this works behaves slightly differently. When you add them as a partner, they can view your assets out of their account. When you add them as a person into your business manager, they need to maneuver through Facebook and through your business manager ad account through your business manager. Now that might be a little bit confusing, but just try to remember business to individual person, that's gonna be through people. Business to business, that's gonna be through a partner, all right? And that is the two methods that you can add someone to your business manager through uh, Facebook. So there's two different ways of adding people into your business manager, right? So there's adding people as individual people or adding them as partners. So they're most likely gonna be wanted and want to be added as a partner. And partner just means it's connecting one business asset to another business asset. Whereas adding someone as a person or people is going to be adding that individual person into your business. Now, for both situations there, if we're going business to business, you're going to want to add them as a partner. If you're going business to person, like an employee, you're going to add them as uh, a person under the uh, people tab. So there's actually two ways that you can add people into your business manager now. So I know we talked about this like a long time ago where uh, we said that uh, business suite was going to become sort of the new business manager. Now, I don't know exactly where that's at, but I do know that there are more settings inside of business suite now. So if you're a smaller brand and you're more familiar with business suite, there is an option of adding people to your business manager or to your business this way, but I would actually recommend doing it through business manager because it's a more robust, I guess, system for your settings. However, I'm still going to show you the business suite way. Okay. So in business suite, you're going to go to the left-hand side and go to your settings that will bring you to this page. Now, as you can see here, we have all assets, pages, ad accounts. Then we have more, you know, catalogs, commerce accounts, and all of these different options here, which are the same options that we have inside of Business Manager. So you can see they're starting to bring over some of the settings and kind of merge the two together, but it's not quite there yet. So if we do go to business settings, ad account settings, bills and payments, it's still gonna redirect us to Business Manager when you uh, click these over here. So let's say you wanted to add someone to your business manager. They want to have a look at your ad account and your Facebook page and whatever else that you need. The one way that you can add a person to your business manager or to your Facebook business is by going to the people tab over here. Now, as you can see, this is our demo account. And so right now there's only two people and those two people, they control everything. And you can also choose what kind of access they have. So inside of business suite, the way that you would add someone is you'd press the add people you would enter their email address. Okay. We could also provide them temporary access. So let's say for example, someone's auditing your account or uh, they're doing some sort of giveaway and they need access. Always make sure that you trust them, but you could provide them with temporary access and remove them on a specific date. For this case, we're not going to do that. And then here's where you have the option to choose what kind of access they would have to your business, uh, to your business account. So we could either give them basic access, which is by default, or if you were hiring an employee that was going to be then your marketing manager, you could make them manage your entire business. Okay. So it is going to tell you it's a sensitive task. And then if you also want to give them access to your finances, you could do that as well. But for the time being, let's not do that. And if you did need to do that in the future, you could. All right. So let's say you're going to allow them to manage everything. We're going to go next. 
And then you can assign the business assets that you want them to have access to. So maybe it's the Facebook page, uh, maybe it's the pixel, as well as the catalog if they're going to be running uh, and the ad account. Okay. Then you could press next. Yep. So I do want to continue. All right, so then it's gonna show us this is who we're adding to the business account. And this is what the, um, these are the assets they're gonna get access to. So if that looks all good, you can press send request and it'll send to that person. Now, this is just a test. I'm not actually gonna send that, right? So I'm gonna exit out of that. So that is the business suite way. Now you can also do it via business manager inside of your business settings. So in the method for business suite, what were you, you were doing was adding them as an individual person. Now let's say you are working with an agency. I would recommend adding them in as a partner. So what you're going to need from your partner from one business to another is you're going to need their business manager ID. So if you, so if you're a brand, then you need to tell your business, uh, you need to tell your partner, the agency or the person that you're working with that you need their business manager ID and they can find that right over here. Business ID equals, and then they need to send you that number. Okay. Add, give partner access to your assets. Next. All right, so I just copied a business manager ID. I put it into that little search bar. And then here again is like, just like in the last process where you can select who, uh, what that partner is gonna have access to. So typically, um, if you're working with a partner, they should be able to get access to mostly everything. Now, obviously making sure that you do trust them. So select the Facebook page, maybe give them access to everything. Or if they're doing an audit or just need to see a few things, maybe it's just ads and content. Okay. Maybe it's just that, um, their ad account. Maybe they need access to, uh, sorry, view performance and maybe manage campaigns or something like that. Okay. Instagram accounts as well. So just select all of the assets that your partner is going to need. And then you can save the changes and that will send a request to your partner. Now, if you were adding an employee into your business um, and they need to get access to everything, I would then add the individual person by using their email here. And then you would select the assets that they need access to. Again, I would recommend using uh, the option through business manager settings and not through business suite because I do feel like there are a lot more settings inside of business manager. It's a lot more robust and it's been here for longer, whereas business suite's a little bit newer. Um, and so if you have any issues or if there's bugs, which does happen sometimes, then at this point in time, there's not too, too much content on it. Whereas for business manager, there actually is a decent amount. It's been for a, a lot, around for a lot longer. Now let's just talk about a few housekeeping rules when it comes to adding people into your business manager. So you want to make sure that anytime another business is running ads for you, that you are actually keeping all of the, your own assets at that you're going to own yourself. So let's say you have a Facebook page and an ad account. In your business manager, it should say owned by and then your business, which should correspond with your business manager name. So do make sure that that's always the case. So if you're working with another partner or an agency and they want to run ads for you, I would recommend strongly that you own your own assets. You own the ad account and then they get added to your business as a user, basically, and then they can run ads out of your own account. Don't let them run ads out of their account. Now, there are some strategies or companies that kind of structure it that way. But for the most part, long term, what's going to be more sustainable and makes more sense for you is if you own your own assets and then people get added to your ad account and to your assets that they can run it out of. Another thing to note is that you cannot have a personal ad account inside of your business account. So I've had some questions about trying to add their personal ad account and claiming it by their business manager and they're getting some errors. It's because your business manager needs to own business assets. And often what's ha what happens is that people will 
um, create a business on Facebook and they'll begin to run ads out of their personal ad account, which is possible. Um, but the issue is that that has some limitations to it when it comes to targeting and audiences. And when you actually want to structure your business manager properly, you're going to run into issues and you're going to have to start fresh with a new business ad account. So do make sure that your ad account is a business ad account and that it is owned by your business manager. And then finally, when it comes to payments, I always find that it works best when the client has their own payment method on file for their own ad account. And the way that works is the, the brand or the client, they're going to have an agency or a person run ads for them out of their own ad account. That own Their own ad account should have their own payment method on file. And I feel like that just works better. Um, and there are some other companies that do a slightly different way, but I do feel like that works the best because then you have full access to all of your payments, payment details, and it's not up to the client um, to bill you more. You know exactly where your money is going and you know exactly where the fee for your services is going. So that's personally my favorite way of doing things. It also comes better when you're um, trying to do taxes at the end of the year and save on taxes by spending money on your advertising because of course that is going to be a write-off. And by keeping that all inside of your own account, I feel that it just organizes things a lot better and you can see exactly where your money is going. So those are just some a few questions that I've seen pop up um, about people running ads um, out of your business manager from another agency or another person. So that's it for this video today. I showed you how to add someone as a partner as well as a person into your business manager or via business suite. Um, and I also kind of explained if you're going to be working with another business, add them as a partner. And if you're working with an individual person coming into your own business, then you can add them as a person. So I wanted to keep it as simple as possible, but sometimes this can be a little complex. So if you guys did have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments section below and I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, that's all for today's video and we'll see you next week.